Jesus put death to death on the cross of Calvary and rose up on the third day by the Spirit of God. That is what the whole world is remembering and celebrating as Resurrection Day. My brother, my sister, my friend, the good news is this, that Jesus put death to death on the cross of Calvary. That is the good news. And he rose up again on the third day. That is what we read in the book of Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 and 15, which makes it very clear that Jesus put death to death. That is the good news. Death is the only thing the whole world is scared of. The whole world is worried, afraid of dying. Because people do not know, most of us do not know that death is not the end of our existence, but transition into eternity. Most of us we do not know that. That is the reason we are much more scared, afraid and worried about the death. My brother, my sister, my friend, the angel of the Lord spoke to Mary Magdalene and other Mary, saying like this, the Jesus whom you search is not here. He has risen. And they said like this, as he said, he is risen. As he said, as Jesus promised, he rose up on the third day. That is the good news. That is the good news. The Bible makes it very clear in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 11, which says like this, the spirit which rose up Jesus dwells in you. And God is telling, if that dwells in you, the same spirit which rose up Jesus will also rise you up on the day of resurrection. My brother, my sister, my friend, this is the good news. There is no more death to anyone and everyone who accepts Lord Jesus as their personal savior. That is the good news. Once you have accepted Lord Jesus as your personal savior, you have received him as your Lord and God. And the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit will come into you and it will dwell in you and that same spirit will rise you up on the day of the resurrection. This is the confidence. This is the good news. All those true followers of Christ enjoy. My brother, my sister, my friend, Jesus said in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 2 and 3, like this. In my father's house, there are many mansions. I'm going to prepare one for you so that you too can be with me. And I will come again, come to you and take you to be with me. That is the promise of Jesus. In Matthew chapter 28, verse 5 and 6, the angel of the Lord said, as he said, as who said? As Jesus said, he rose up. And now he has promised us in John chapter 14, verse 2 and 3. As he promised, he will definitely come back soon to take us all to be with him in heaven. My brother, my sister, my friend, resurrection day is nothing but God's assurance that someday you and I we too will resurrect and live forever and ever with God. If we take this Jesus whom I preach seriously and choose to follow him. 
choose to follow the bible choose to believe and obey the bible if you too can do that be sure be confident the day will come you too will be resurrected and you too will live with god forever and ever this is the secret this is the truth behind the res- resurrection of jesus christ my brother my sister my friend god is real bible is real jesus is real everyone will come to know when their life is separated from their body every one of us will come to know that god is real jesus is real bible is real when they die on this planet earth my brother my sister my friend we all have the opportunity right in front of us to walk into heaven by just accepting this jesus as your lord and savior it's very easy and it's very simple and it is very true and it is very serious stop taking your eternity for granted the moment you die you too will slip into eternity either to heaven or to hell these are the only two choice if you want to go to heaven you too have to accept this lord jesus as your personal savior there is no other way that's what we read in the book of john chapter 14 verse 6 there is no other way to come to the father other than jesus my brother my sister my friend take this seriously stop playing with your eternity in heaven to go to hell you don't have to do anything you keep ignoring and neglecting rejecting the voice of god that's it that will eventually take you to take you to hell if you do want to go to heaven now today make a decision take a decision to accept this jesus as a personal savior so that you too can be sure of going to heaven you too can be confident of going to heaven the moment you breathe your last upon this face of the earth my brother my sister my friend wake up wake up wake up as he said jesus rose up as he said he will come one day to take us to be with him and romans 8:11 says that the spirit which quickened which rose of jesus if that dwells in you your mortal body will also be quickened one day and you too will resurrect if you welcome this jesus today my brother my sister my friend jesus put death to death upon the cross of calvary and rose up by simply accepting lord jesus as our personal savior we can put we too can put our death to death it is as simple as that my brother my sister my friend take god seriously because god cannot lie god cannot change god loves you my brother jesus loves you my brother i love you until we meet again may god continue to be with you as well amen hallelujah